dry cleaning? Check. Low fat froyo? Check. Now, what else for her highness? Start gossip weekly? Ugh. Better hurry before she goes into gossip mag withdrawal. Ugh. For some mini Sonic Disintegrator boombox action. OMG! That is so cute. <laughs> Excellent work, Spies. Allow me to finish the job. He's all yours, dear. Now, if you don't mind, it's back to campus life for us. Whoa! Alex? Clover? Oh. Sam? Oh my. That was so amazing. I, I know they didn't learn those moves at Mally U. Yes, it certainly was amazing. Now, what did you say your name was, my boy? Trent. Excellent. Now, why don't you come with me, Trent, and I'll explain everything. <laughs> about you two, but after that wacky mission, I am wiped. Totally. I'm just gonna couch potato out and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Forget about vegging. <gasps> As in the Mally U Spring Fling dances tomorrow. Uh-oh. That hardly gives us any time to shop for new clothes. Hello. I think we all have something far more serious to think about than outfits. We need dates for the dance. Come on, girls. Time to get our guy crews on. Sorry, I don't speak, evil scorpion. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I have some other business to attend to. So is this some kind of super secret spy agency? Can I be one too? All very good questions, Trent. Ta-ta! That's it. Almost done. And memory erased. Hopefully that clears everything up. Ta-ta! <sighs> okay, ladies, radar up. There's got to be some cute guys around here somewhere. Cute's good, but I'm looking for an athlete. And I'm looking for a brainiac. Whoa! Oh. Huh? Uh, Trent? There you are, intern! What took you so long? I... I'm not sure, Mandy. I don't remember. Mm. <gasps> no way! You wrinkled my dry cleaning! And my mags are totally thrashed! And my pro-yo is more like pro-no! <sighs> Placed. <laughs> Who'd want to take this job? Huh? <laughs> no way! Good one, Trent! <laughs> I'm going to forgive you, Trent. Clearly you suffered some sort of head injury. You have one last chance to make it up to me. Be at the groove in precisely 30 minutes to help me shop, or else! Oh, I'll be there, Mandy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's gotten into Trent, but I definitely like it. Now, focus, girls. The student union is a guy-hunting gold mine. Maybe we should take this guy quest on the road. <laughs> hey, Jer, what's the 911? Mission time, spies. We've just received reports of a very strange sighting at the Groove. Huh? Strange like a totally unadvertised shoe sale? No, strange like a mysterious being lurking amongst the buildings. Sheesh! How many freaks?
freaky characters are we supposed to deal with in one day? First that scorpion thingy, and now this? Huh? Hmm. And now for your gadgets. Today we have the expanding emery board springboard, the mini mixtastic clue centrifuge, suction cup bottomed go go boots, super range biodegradable spitball tracker, and the wind tunnel tornado blast hairdryer. Sweet! Good luck, spies. On your way now. Oopsie, wrong button. Anyway, follow that gear. Hello, 70s much. Yeah! These aren't sequins, Clover. They look more like scales. Scales? Okay, and now that's just plain grody. Agreed. Now let's see if the mini mixtastic clue centrifuge can give us some more information while we head back to school. <laughs> a weird mission. I just can't get my head around why that thing was after Mandy. I'm with you, Alex. It's a total mystery. Almost as much of a mystery as who our dates to the spring fling are gonna be. If we wait much longer, that field of prospects is going to get way thin. Oh, wow! Whoa. Is it warm out here or is it just that total hottie? Trent. <gasps> Trent? When did he go from meek to chic? Trent! I cannot believe you blew me off! Do you have any idea what I've been through? Whatever it was, it looks like it was a pretty hair-raising experience. <laughs> <laughs> And my first duty is to ignore you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's it! You are so totally on probation! Shh. Use your indoor voice, Mandy. That's a good girl. <gasps> what has gotten into him? Beats me, but I'm liking me some Trent 2.0. Those are some mad athletic skills. <laughs> <laughs> 
on our scales. Come on. So, what's the verdict, Sammy? Who's our scaly baddie? Okay, this is way weird. It says the scales came from a predatory arthropod. Oh no! A predatory arthropod? Uh, what's a predatory arthropod? In this case, a scorpion. A very big scorpion. You mean like the one we nabbed just this morning? Exactly like that one, which means only one thing. He must have escaped from Whoop. We've got to let Jerry know. <gasps> Jer, we figured out what happened and came as fast as we could. Good thinking. Now perhaps you can tell me what in the world you're talking about. You know that the gnarly scorpion guy, the one who clearly needs some major skin moisturizer, escaped. Sorry, Spies. He's in the holding cell behind that sliding wall. But we found scorpion scales at the groove right after we chased him. Sorry, girls, but whatever you're chasing, it's not here. Oh, my. It appears there's a disturbance in progress at the Mali U campus. Mali U? Hurry up, Jerry, you got it! <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, girls. <laughs> Ew! Thanks for nothing, Jer. Are you guys going to the spring fling? Because we're looking for dates. <laughs> Gross! Ew. What? Ah! <laughs> it came from up there. Then let's go, go, go with our suction cup bottom go-go boots. <laughs> Oh, it's wet. It's way wet. Ugh. Trent, take it easy. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. No, this isn't like you. The real Trent would never do this. <laughs> the old Trent is gone. Hmm. This is exactly what the new Trent does. This little pest won't be bossing me around anymore. Pest? Me? You're the big insect grossy Ugh. thing. Hmm. Ew, this is so not a natural fabric. Uh, mind not using me as your human shield and try not to annoy him. We're trying to help you here. <laughs> Any last words, Mandy? to make you only polish half of my shoe collection if it would make you reconsider. Now you can't move your mouth either. That's much better. <gasps> Tracker. Hmm. Bullseye! I was the spitball champion of third grade. We have to call Jerry right away and get to the bottom of this. Ladies, did you figure out the ruckus on campus? Big time! One of our classmates, Trent, got all scorpion mania on Mandy. Oh my, that's quite a coincidence. Earlier today, I had someone in my office by that very name. I'll bring up the surveillance footage. Yep, that's Trent. Why was he there? After he witnessed you girls in action, I had to do a little judicious editing of his memory. Uh-oh. Whoop, we have a problem. Oh. The signals got crossed. It must have been some sort of defective transfuser capacitor iser. <laughs> hmm. More like a defective whoop agent. It looks as if I was successful in erasing Trent's memories, but also in downloading scorpion DNA into Trent. Now we know what we're dealing with. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... We, we have, have to save, save Mandy. Mandy! Spitball Tracker coming online. Let's go! I can't believe you turned into that thing before! It was gross! And you know I'm allergic to shellfish! <gasps> 
gross? I don't think so. Yeah. Strong and confident? Oh, yeah. Who do you think is gonna mess with Trent now that he's a scorpion man? First of all, you're not a scorpion. Your zodiac sign is Pisces. Secondly, all I said was worship me like the queen of the quad that I am and be my loyal servant. Those days are over. Now you'll be the one getting me sports magazines. Sha as if. <gasps> oh. From now on, you're Trent's faithful servant. And which Trent would that be? The good one or the evil one? <gasps> uh. As much as I'd like to see Mandy being anyone's servant, it ain't happening this way. Ha! See that, Trent? I am totally saved by these lame girls. Well, don't just stand there. I'm kind of paralyzed. Get saved! <sighs> Let's get him. <gasps> We all thought you were so cute! Uh. I don't know. In the right light, he's still kind of cute. <laughs> Look out, Sammy! Uh. Uh. Trent, I know you're not yourself, but what's with the hostility? We're all friends here. Maybe with the old Trent. This Trent doesn't like people messing with his plans. I don't know which is worse, his gross, scaly body or the fact that he refers to himself in the third person. Uh, guys! Quick, try and get his claws and we'll have him. Uh. Nice work, Alex. Now hit the dirt! Uh. Uh. Enough. Playing around. Actually, it's game over, Trent. Over? No, it's just the beginning. <laughs> hey! Where did Lobster Claws go? That's really weird. It is not easy to hide a 10 foot scorpion. Hmm. <laughs> Girls! Ah! 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 I can't move! Same here! Look out, Alex! Ah! 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 <sighs> Alex, huh? whatever you do, don't get stung! You're our only hope now! <gasps> don't worry, Sammy! I've got the wind tunnel blast power! Excellent work. And don't worry, ladies, he'll be back to his normal self once I get the scorpion DNA out of his system. Hey, Gramps! A little help here! Being stuck between these two is like my worst nightmare! Yeah, give her a little help, Jir. And make sure your wires aren't crossed this time, if you know what I mean. Hey! Careful where you're walking! These shoes are handmade! What kind of a butler are you anyway? Not to worry, Spies. Enjoy a little R&R &R time. The effect of the scorpion sting should wear off in a bit. Ta-ta! Oh, I don't know who's worse, Scorpion Trent or Mandy. I don't know about you, but while we're here, I see we catch some quality desert rays before the dance. Great idea! Not like we have much choice. Time to find dates, but 
but at least we can walk again. Who needs a date anyway? We always have a total blast just hanging out together. The spring fling will be great. Hey, it's those guys again. Look at that. Yes, sweet. Nice. Huh? It's those garbage picking girls. Let's get out of here. I'll never forgive Jerry for that trash can whooping he pulled on us. Oh, well. To the dance, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Slide diamonds or what? Huh? Uh, yeah! I've never seen such a diamonds powerful power board bomb board rail slide move like that before! <laughs> Whoa! Are you a skater? If you are, you have to be the bettiest skater Betty I've ever laid eyes on! If Betty means cute girl, then I've been a skateboarding type Betty for years. Awesome! Well then, don't be cocking when you should be skating. You can scan my ride, Heavenly Betty. I even have a spare lid for you. <gasps> Are you sure about this? You've never been on a skateboard in your life. Hmm. Ah! <gasps> I normally only skate with my own board. Uh. Whoa! Oh, no. Nice! Enthusiastically curved, yo! So awesome! By the whoop. What do you mean? You got pulled away before you could show off the only skateboarding trick you know. Falling off. Hey! Really? <laughs> I thought I did okay. Hello, spies. We should get straight to the mission. It's a doozy. <gasps> Something incredibly odd is happening to many of the world's most treasured nature destinations. Our latest reports are coming in from the Grand Canyon. That's why we need feet on the ground to tell whoop what's really going on. You got it, Jer. But I know we're not going there empty handed. Correct as always, Sam. <laughs> The Sassy Shield Belt. 
It can be used to produce a large mega-level shield in front of you. Beware of power drain at that intensity, but for a few moments, not even a microbe will be able to get through. Ugh, microbes. They sure know how to ruin your day. The Slingback Slingshot Tracker, and the Run for Cover Hoverboards, which you are of course familiar with. And the Vibrosonic Earbuds. The lowest frequency delivers a low rumble. The highest can liquefy diamond. Be very careful how you use those. Ooh, liquid diamonds. And one more thing. The Whoop Lab has developed a new app for your compounders. It's called Bloodhound, and it will allow you to identify footprints or track marks of any kind. That's all, spies. Time to get you to the Grand Canyon. Ready when you are, Jer. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about Alex's dating drought? Huh? It's Blakely! <gasps> hey, Blakely, what's up? <laughs> Yo? Hey, I had to call to tell you, your moves, they were amazing. Well, the ones I got to peep before you super jetted out, yo. Where did you blast to so fast? Hair appointment. My what? guy turns super evil if I'm late for a styling. Whoa, brutal. Well, we need to get sick on the blacktop soon. Sure. Sick? <laughs> Sounds great. I think I oversold my skater skills a little bit. You think? Come on, girls. These burrows aren't going to ride themselves. <laughs> Shoo, go away! You know what, Alex? I think these flies are from your burrow. Oh, don't listen to her, Steven. They're just jealous. What happened? Did someone pave the Grand Canyon? <gasps> Whoever did this must have worked fast. But you need a hundred trucks and paving mixers to do this amount of work. I think the locals would have noticed that, right? Uh, <gasps> girls, we might have a problem. The blacktop is melting. We need to get our feet unstuck before we become part of this national treasure. Or worse, it stains our boots! Say it, don't scream it next time. Sorry, my bad. Activate the sassy shield belts, full strength! back to Jerry, then head back to school. I just enter the photo into the Bloodhound app, and in a few minutes, we'll know what those tracks are. Gives us some time to watch Clover, uh, practice. Oh, you can do it, Clover! Yeah! We believe in you, <laughs> uh, mostly. All right, Wheels. I can beat you. You're not so tough. You must be doing this to impress some boy. How perfectly lame. <gasps> Mandy, why are you so... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Not good, Clover. I've got ketchup in my eyes. I've got mustard in my eyes. Who, Who is, is responsible, responsible for this? this? Clover did it, and I've got the evidence. 
Who said that? Who's there? Great! Well, guys, look! <laughs> what? How did they... What did they... What is going on? Maddie, how disappointing. You tried to blame Clover. Shame on you! No, no, no! They were just here! Clover did it! I have never touched a skateboard in my life! I mean, except for now. Hmm. Hmm. Something is happening to Mount Everest right now. You three need to locate the disturbance and shut it down. That's what we do best, Jer. Whoa, I'm feeling nervous. I don't know why. Gee, Clover, just jumping out of a speeding jet, you do this all the time. Yeah, and no wheels, you'll be fine. Okay, thanks, girls. I needed to hear that. Let's do this. No worries, Clover. You got this. Yeah, way to board the highest mountain in the world. But I never thought it would look so much like a parking lot. It's way not supposed to look like this. Do you girls see what I see? Yeah. Is he riding a skateboard? That's our bad guy, and he's trying to pave the mountain. Well, he's not getting away with it this time. Let's go! go! <laughs> Sorry, we're here to shut the party down. Fantabulous! Nice of you swell, bodacious ladies to join the party! And aren't you a little old to be skateboarding? That's so totally harsh! Just try and keep up with me, babes! I'm skating this mountain to the max! Oh, look out! That nerdy old guy's getting away! Come on! Huh? Gotcha! You ruined your last national treasure, nature hater! Looking gnarly! Take a chill pill, babes! See you on the never side! <laughs> Nice one, Alex! Uh-oh! I better send a distress beacon to Jerry before this stuff... Just about done, girls. Jerry? Timer? Point me in a direction, Jer. I want to take that guy down. Whoever he is, he knows his chemistry. The high-tech micro compounds in his paving spray are very impressive. We have to stop this skater before he paves over the entire world. You'll get your chance very soon. The tracking device you planted indicates he's headed towards Victoria Falls. Cool. We haven't been to Africa since Tuesday. <laughs> No sign of him. Well, if it still looks like beautiful, wondrous nature, it means he hasn't been here yet. How can one skater be so cute and perfect and another one be such a pain in the butt? Did you guys hear that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Where are we? We're in a cave behind the falls. Wicked. You called it, Red. I guess you're the smart one. <laughs> Smarter than you? Definitely. And who are you, anyway? Yeah! Why are you trying to destroy the most beautiful locations in the world? And more importantly, why are you dressed in clothes for someone half your age? I was big time famous once. Nobody could skate like me, rail like me, flip, jump, and slide like me. They called me Lil Dude, and I was their righteous king. But now, everybody says I'm totally a joke. That my moves are all 80s and old school. 
I'm gonna score some revenge by paving over the earth and turning it into the raddest skate park ever. That'll show those grody little punks that I'm still king. Sure, the king of concrete. Weakest idea ever. What about the lakes, the trees, the animals? Chipmunks don't skateboard. What will they do for fun, huh? Sorry, babes. I gotta roll with destiny. Have fun being trapped in here, like, forever! <laughs> 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 Booyah! Hail to the king! <laughs> oh no! This again? I don't want to be a statue! Gray is in my color! If we don't get out of this soon, we're not getting out of this ever! Girls, huh? I've got a spot of bad news. The sheer amount of concrete that your nemesis has been laying down is shifting the planet's rotation. If you don't stop him now, the Earth will spin off its axis and spiral out into the galaxy. That sounds pretty serious. That's it! I'm stuck! Hmm? These vibrosonic earbuds better do the trick or... got out, huh? Well, I'm paving Victoria Falls, and you can't stop me! You have to stop, little dude! All of this paving is going to destroy the Earth! Oh, really? You forgot to ask me if I care! It's no use! He won't listen! Then we make him listen! Huh. Looks like he brought an audience. And wait, is one of them... Blakely? <laughs> Did you see that air, my fellow skater dudes? <laughs> <laughs> Got any moves that aren't from the Stone Age, Gramps? And why did you bring us here? Hmm. Just look at this massively tubular skate park I've made. Take it for a spin. Make those wheels burn, babies. Hmm. Huh? What? What is it? Is it not cool enough for you puppies? Nah, man, it's wicked. What isn't is you totally ruined some sweet, sweet nature, bro. And when did you get that board? The 80s or something? And what does tubular mean, anyway? All this trouble and all this time! Ha! <gasps> Do you know how hard it was to come up with a microscopic compound for instant concrete? Very, dudes. And this is how you repay me? That is most untubular. Well, get used to that smug look on your faces. You're gonna be wearing them for a long time. Huh? Oh, dude! We have some unfinished business, like, now. Whoa. Double wool. You think you're so wicked cool on those things, don't you? They don't even have wheels. How lame. To the max! <laughs> They could gum up little dude's concrete sprayers. I'll get his attention and you guys hit him low. You got it. Let's bring this showdown to a slowdown. Heads up, dude! <laughs> no! You gals think you can beat 
little dude. Too bad, so sad, for I am so rad! <laughs> no! What did you do? The balls! They're pushing through the concrete! We have to get the skaters off the ledge! <laughs> You haven't seen the last of me. The Righteous King will skate again! And he will skate to the max! Sure. <laughs> Have fun getting chipped out of concrete, your highness. Mm -hmm. According to our satellites, Earth's orbit has stabilized. So we're not spinning off into space, in case anyone noticed. Yo! Uh, I've never seen such uh, sick moves! You're the queen of the Bettys! Blakely, you're super cute, but I've never skateboarded in my life, and, well, half the time, I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa, don't bail on me, beautiful Betty. We're diamonds together. So, I'm sorry, Blakely, I just can't be your Betty. Hmm. <sighs> Not to worry, Clover. He won't remember any of this once the Whoop team erases his memory. I know, but I'll remember. Well, I'm happy to be back in boy drought mode. Just means I get to spend more time with my friends. And we're happy you're not going to ride a skateboard anymore. You and wheels just don't mix. <gasps> wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I have to find a hockey stick thingy store. Lights out. I see an innocent man being released from jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lights out. It's important to keep the skills in tip top shape for the long awaited day I'm released. Hmm. Which may be sooner than you think. <laughs> But I was sound asleep. You know what I always say, the early spy catches the villain. <laughs> it's not that I'm not elated to see you, Mumsy, uh, but it's 5 a.m. How, pray tell, did you get inside my villa? I'm finding myself rather bored in retirement, so I decided to pay my beloved son a visit. As for how I got inside, I am an ex-spy after all. Oh, don't worry. We'll find plenty of ways to keep you busy. Perhaps a lovely trip to the boardwalk. They play checkers there every Sunday. I didn't come all this way to play board games. 
I want to return to the exhilarating world of espionage. <laughs> you want to become a spy again? What about your chronic back aches? Son, always remember that you learned everything you know about spying from yours truly. Let me worry about my back. <laughs> I'll reinstate you on one condition. You have to go through a retraining program. There's been a lot of advancements since you left. <sighs> Jolly good! When do we get started? <laughs> Rise and shine, girls! Huh? Jerry? This is Elle! It's nice to see you girls. It's been a long time. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> Only, couldn't this happy reunion have waited till a more respectable hour? Like after brunch? Hmm? I have a very important mission for you, ladies. The three of you are going to train Mumsy in the rigors of modern-day espionage, starting with the latest in martial arts techniques. Oh. Uh, Jer, are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean, Mrs. L is a bit... Oh, how do I put this? Oh! <laughs> Frail? Not you! Huh? Whoa! Mrs. L, you're awesome! So, who wants a piece of me next? <laughs> Looks like you girls have this under control. I'll just leave you to it. Ta-ta! Uh -huh. <laughs> Jerry, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm? My, what a strange piece of jewelry you're wearing, Dr. Gray. Meet the Behavioral Adjuster version 2.0. Wishing what? you good mental health. <laughs> huh? How did I get inside the cell? Why is my body standing outside the cell when I'm obviously inside? It's taken me years to perfect my masterpiece. As we say in psychiatry circles, therapy takes time. <laughs> Dr. Gray, what have you done? Isn't it obvious, Jerry? Thanks to the Behavioral Adjuster 2.0, I switched bodies with you. Now you're me, and I'm you. You'll never get away with this, Dr. Gray. Guards! Guards! The name's Jerry now. Good luck trying to convince anyone to help you looking like, well, me. <laughs> Gods, I require immediate assistance! Hmm. Impressive. That ray should do the trick nicely. It will amplify the body switching signal from my pendant, making it powerful enough to reach the entire globe. Of course, I'll need a few test subjects first. And I'd better grab a few gadgets, just in case, as the real Jerry would say, things go awry. Now go easy on me, girls. Remember, I'm an old lady. <laughs> girls, a little help here. <gasps> <gasps> You're a super quick learner, Mrs. L. Honestly, I don't think there's anything more we can teach you that you don't already know. Not if we still want to be able to walk tomorrow. I find cold compresses are excellent for a sore back. What's that? Oh, that's just Sammy's comp powder. Maybe there is something we can teach you. Gadget 101. We've got the padded shoulder portable parasail, the panic button band-aids, and jetpack backpacks. Oh, the Face Changer Phaser. Haven't seen this baby in a while. Oopsie. Imagine the things I could have done in my day with these gadgets. Girls, 
We have a serious situation brewing. A passenger jet with 365 people aboard has lost control over LA. Oh no! Better call Jer. <laughs> Wishing you good mental health. Oh. Jerry? Is that you? Well, duh. Who else would I be? <laughs> no need to get all happy. Jeez. A passenger jet is in major trouble over LA. What should we do? Right. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you think you should do? We should help. It's an emergency. Duh. And why are you answering questions with more questions? All I can say is that you must follow your collective conscience. Sorry, but this session is now up. <gasps> that was way bizarre. Looks like someone needs a refresher course in manners. It'll have to wait. We have a plane full of passengers to save. <laughs> Whoa! Mrs. L is good. It took me three years to learn how to do that. No offense, Alex, but that's because you're a terrible driver. Ah! Ah, look out! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's locked from the inside! Got any of those handy dandy gadgets handy? Phase changer, phaser, do your thing! Turn to your seats immediately. As you girls would say, this is way weird. You can say that again. I'm having a major case of deja vu. But I can't quite figure out why. Is that the pilot? Ah! Ah! Mm. Please tell me someone knows how to fly this plane. Obviously, I can't do it in this condition. <gasps> I haven't landed a plane in 20 years. I'm sure it's like riding a bike. Homer, you're my co-pilot. This is gonna be one bumpy landing on the streets of Bev Hills. <gasps> think you ladies can aim for Santa Monica? We can try. Why? I think Sammy's just figured out a way to make our landing a little more padded. to Jerry. Panic button band-aids, don't fail us now. <laughs> you four don't have an appointment. You need to go. Nice to see you too, Jer. Do you have any idea what we've just been through, son? The pilot was a toddler. I know it sounds crazy, but it's totally true. It worked even better than I thought. Jer? Rewind. Are you saying you wanted this to happen? I don't know. Uh, what I meant to say was my plan to send you in worked. You saved those passengers. Well done. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other patients to see. Huh? Uh. Oh. Hey! Have you lost your mind? Oh. My plan is working like a charm. <laughs> a body-switching charm! The first test on that plane was a rousing success. Now to turn the ray on L.A. I was a good sport until just now! Jer's a total menace! I'm not so sure that was Jerry Clover. He didn't even recognize me. Huh? Jaywalking. 
smoking is illegal. I know why I was having major deja vu earlier. This is just like that case we had a few years ago. The evil Dr. Gray! Yes! Who? A body-switching baddie. That would totally explain Jer's odd behavior. Alex and I will head to the containment facility to check on Dr. Gray. While Clover and I find out if my Gerald is really my Gerald. Hooray! Looks like we were wrong. Dr. Gray can't possibly be the culprit. <gasps> what? Girls! <laughs> Lovely to see you. Would you mind releasing me post-haste? Hmm. It's me, girls. Jerry! Jerry? But how can we be sure? Who else would know about that time, Alex, when you were so scared of the dark after fending off the dream villain that you had to borrow my nightlight? You positively swore me to secrecy. That lot of good it did. Or that time, Sam, when you had that secret crush on that cute villain who used his singing voice to control minds, including yours. You couldn't even remember your own name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keyword being secret, Jer. We'll have you out of here in a gif, Jer, if you promise those stories never leave this cell. You have my word. What? I know we need disguises, but couldn't you come up with something a little less pre-war gabardine? Shh! Luckily, we won't be here for long. Tea and figgy scone, sir. Ew, no. Remove those awful little biscuits from my sight at once. Fraud! Huh? My Jerry would never turn down tea and figgy scones or say ew. Dr. Gray, I presume? Uh. Hey! Why are you doing this, Jerry? I mean, Dr. Gray? As a psychiatrist, I've grown so weary of listening to patients whine about their terrible lives. In prison, it's even worse. Thanks to this little device, everyone will get a chance to walk a mile in another person's shoes. Then maybe I'll get some peace and quiet for once. <laughs> You'll never get away with it. Who's gonna stop me? You or you? If you can even tell each other apart after this. Which I seriously doubt! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very important appointment to keep with the entire world. <laughs> to the roof! My arthritis is gone. Ah! I went from way young and hot to way old and not. Hey, that's my old body you're talking about. Sorry. It's just crazy weird being in someone else's skin, you know? Uh, tell me about it. Worst part is we're plumb out of gadgets. <gasps> Luckily, I happen to know my way around. Wait, who are you? Why, I'm Jerry, of course. Oh! Son! It's so good to see you. Give Mumsy a hug. Whoa! <laughs> Which one of you is my real Mumsy? Cha! You're one to talk, Chair. Can you, like, save the surprise faces until after I get my body back? I think that clears it up. Uh, hurry! To the roof! Right behind you, Clover. That's Mrs. L. Oh, right. Watch out, world, cause here it comes. Wishing you all good mental health. Not so fast, Dr. Gray. Panic button, Band-Aid. Whoop this traitor away. Ha! Oopsie. Ugh. I'm a coming. Not so fast, girls. I too have gadgets. Uh, look out. He's got stun tan lotion. <laughs> 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 Unruly mock clover. You should really consider a haircut, dear. Don't touch the quaff. Mm? It's taken me years to perfect my look. Ladies, please, enough bickering already. I think what 
Sammy is trying to say is, the world is in deep body switching trouble. Huh? Dr. Gray, you're coming with me. Carl, I'm not Dr. Gray. I'm Jerry, head of Whoop. Who are you going to listen to, Carl? Arrest Dr. Gray at once. And while you're at it, arrest these spies. I'm charging them all with disobeying orders. Instead of arresting us, how about you and I grab a milkshake after work? Sorry, but I normally date girls closer to my own age. <laughs> Perhaps you two troublemakers could benefit from a little of my body-switching therapy. Major Ouchie! Careful! I have a slipped disc! Oh, now I'm going to be in rehab for months! See? My plan is working already. Perhaps my experiment will give young people more respect for their elders. It hasn't worked in your case, Dr. Gray. Time to put an end to this little experiment. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. <gasps> That's all you've got? One measly gadget? You do my body such a disservice. My weakness is better than me! Way to defeat yourself, dear! No! My beautiful world harmonizing plan! Gone! Hey, if Dr. Gray is Dr. Gray again, does that mean everyone's back to normal? Totes. And it feels so good to be me. Oh! Son, come help your mother up. Coming, Mumsy. Great work, Mrs. L. Ooh, watch the back, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I speak for all of us when I say we're super stoked to have you on our spy team, Mrs. L. Uh-oh. What's wrong? The last 24 hours have shown me that I'm done, once and for all, with the exhilarating world of espionage. Ugh. Well, my back is, at least. Yeah, sorry about that. And we're sorry to see you go. You're one seriously awesome spy chick. I'll miss you too, girls. Thanks to my brief time in Clover's body, I've realized that I'm still young at heart. I'm going to go back to all the exciting places I've been, but this time as a tourist. No spying required. Will you send us e-cards from all the fab places you visit? What's an e-card? How about a good old-fashioned postcard? You've got it. Bye! Bye. Perfect posture is hard work. Gerald Lewis, <laughs> sit up straight!
I'm so gonna be late for my job interview. It, Mandy. So, what should I do about it? Duh! I want you to work on getting me a bigger room! Pronto! Go! <laughs> what gives? Um, hey Mandy, we were just, uh, practicing for the Malu skydiving team. Later! Bring her to our office immediately. <laughs> Whatever I'm accused of doing, I didn't do it! Unless it's something that makes me famous, then I definitely did do it. <laughs> we aren't here to accuse you of anything, Mandy. We'd like to offer you an opportunity. An opportunity to spy on Sam, Clover, and Alex. Spy on Sam, Clover, and Alex? Why would I want to do that? Because if you help us out by keeping an eye on them, we'd be willing to reward you. Uh, you mean, like, by giving me that totally rad penthouse suite the girls live in? Huh? Come through for us and it's yours. <gasps> Trust me, I won't let them out of my sight. <laughs> I can't believe we plowed into Mandy like that. Yeah, what a way to end a mission. Whatever, I'm just stoked to try out my new makeup. 10.16 a.m. This is Monday reporting. The brunette is swabbing her ear. The redhead's tweezing her brows. And Blondie looks like she's getting ready for a much needed face fix. Say hello to clowny girls. A totally chic, just on the market makeup for men and women. <gasps> oh no, please tell me that's not what I think it is. What's with all the steam? Hey! Where'd those lizards go? Oh. Uh. I can't believe you whooped us again so soon, Jer. We barely had time to wash off the last mission. Oh. <clears throat> and P.S., you could have waited until you were done grooming yourself. I'm sorry, spies, but I have a most curious assignment for you. It seems that a diplomat from France was to meet with a diplomat from China, and, well, it's probably best if I just show you. I assure you, it was anything but awesome, Alex. In fact, the Chinese diplomat was quite insulted. As a result, relations between the countries have become strained. Well, I can see why. That makeup is a major insult to good taste. I'm afraid it gets worse. A clown-faced fireman dumped buckets of confetti on a real fire in London, which is why I'm sending you three to check it out right away. <gasps> and to help you in your endeavors, I give you the Hair Pick Lock Pick, the Porto Lab 9000, a giant soap bubble balloon, high-powered faux earring magnets, and a high-velocity atomizer. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my comb-over while you investigate what happened to that diplomat. Whoa! You know, to the diplomat lady with unicycle and the creepy clown face. Hmm. Uh, 
Achoo! 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 Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a schedule to keep. Achoo! Worries, the hair pick lock pick should do the trick. Wow, awesome! Way to work the gear, Clover. Okay, spies, time to spread out and look for anything unusual. Huh, this doesn't look like the clown makeup we saw her wearing in the video, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Huh? No way! This is Clownique, the brand I just bought. Ooh, I think I'll borrow a little. No, Clover, don't do it! <laughs> Whoa! Now that's what I call clowntastic. What are you talking about, Alice? Uh. <gasps> uh. <gasps> Don't worry, Clover. We'll figure out what to do. What are you doing in here? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, dear. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Rude much. Come on. Let's get out of here. I mean, I can't get captured looking this way. Now hang on. <laughs> ha! That'll teach him to laugh at me. When it comes to interns, you really put the fail in failure, Trent. But since you had a clever idea to make it up to me and you got me the keys to the girls' penthouse, I'm willing to let it slide. You can leave now. Wait for me downstairs! <sighs> yes, Mandy. Yes! Soon all of this luxurious square footage will be mine, mine, mine! It's those girls! Time to get my spy on! Worse? Now I went and scared the dorm janitor. Come on, Clover. I'll help you try and wash the clown ink off. Uh. Hmm. Good idea. In the meantime, I'm gonna get gadgety. Uh. According to the Portal Lab 9000, the makeup contains an incredibly rare luminescent seaweed found only in Japan. Weird. Hmm. But what are we supposed to do with that info? Uh. Whoop has tracked a huge shipment of that exact type of seaweed to a location in Tokyo. Well then, I guess we know where our next stop should be. Are you kidding? As long as I'm Clover the Clown Face Girl, I'm never leaving this house again. Except maybe to hit a giant shoe sale. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Girls, so glad I was able to catch you. Whoop has just received more reports of unexpected clown faces <gasps> popping up around the world. I'm afraid the situation has gotten quite serious. <laughs> oh my! Well, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Thanks, Jer. Like I really needed a reminder that I have a giant mouth and a bright red nose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jerry. We're on the case. All we need is for you to whoop us to Tokyo. Oh, no problem. I'll have you there in a jiffy. Huh? Here we go again! <gasps> Not without me, you don't! That's your planet! Ew! Why does the most direct route always have to be the grodiest? Hey, girls, huh? Check it out! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
one. Come on, the address should be right around here somewhere. I don't know! All of a sudden, I have this insatiable urge to juggle! Spy now, juggle later! Hey! Hey! Where am I? What is going on? <gasps> this is it! The place has been getting the rare luminescent seaweed shipments. Restaurant? No offense, but I think your spy work might be a little off there, Sammy. Oh, that's okay. My tummy's rumbling for some grub anyway. Sorry, Alex. Your tummy will have to wait. OMG! That looks just like Clown Eek. Only one way to find out. Either this is the weirdest sushi joint I've ever seen, or we've just stumbled onto a secret lair. I'm going with option number two. But it still doesn't explain why someone would be going to such great lengths to get people to wear clown makeup. <gasps> oh, how cute! A tiny toy car! <gasps> what are you girls doing in my restaurant? Out, she must have a serious yoga routine. A better question would be, what is all this clown stuff doing in your so-called restaurant? Silence! No, I'm not going to be silent, considering you're the one behind this nasty clown makeup on my face that won't come off. What's your deal, lady? I mean, besides wearing the most awesome wig I've ever seen. Oh! My name is Bozette Slapstick, and I am the world's greatest clown. If that's true, then how come we've never heard of you? Huh? Because sadly, clowns aren't as popular as they used to be with TV and movies and video games. People have found other ways to entertain themselves and don't care much about us anymore. No! <laughs> Which is why I've devised my special makeup to force them to appreciate us. But that's not true, Bozette. All sorts of people love clowns, especially kids. It's just evil clowns they have issues with. And speaking of evil, why would you turn a perfectly nice sushi joint into a sinister lair? I needed to put it somewhere. And this place has the best California huh? rolls in town. <gasps> okay, enough clowning around. This lame old plan ends now. This is unreal. Can you say viral internet hit? Uh, as if this makeup didn't make me look goofy enough. My poor face can only take so much. I don't know, Clover. They say that facial massage is good for your skin. <sighs> so, you think you can take down a trained and experienced clown that easily, huh? Don't worry, Bozette. We'll make sure you never get away with this. <sighs> as soon as I get whosever foot this is out of my ear... <laughs> oh, I will get away with it, because the air in that box will only last a few more minutes. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to move to phase two of my plan. Accelerating the clownification of the Earth by spraying down the rest of the world with my makeup! <laughs> and with more and more people forced to appreciate clowns, we'll finally return to our former glory! <laughs> what do we do now? We're packed in here tighter than sardines! Looks like you girls have a whole secret life, just like the Dean's thought. Mandy? What are you doing here? Who cares? Just get us out of this thing. Ha! Not a chance. I need to get this awesome footage back to the Dean's. It's gonna land me your penthouse, if not all of West. 
like immediately. Mendez is moving on up. I can't believe she... Forget Mandy. We need to get out of this box before all the air is gone. What gadgets do we have left? Besides the high-powered faux earring magnets? Not much. Hmm. Wait, that can work. Alex, can you reach one of them? I think so. Uh... Then what? Hold the earring near where the crank is on the outside of the box. Then rub it in a circular motion so the magnet turns the crank. But after that, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Good choice. Now let's find that clown lady and fix my face. Come on, spies, follow that clown car. came up with, Mandy. I especially like the clown makeup prop. Very amusing. But clearly, we'll have to find someone who takes our mission a little more seriously. Now we've got work to do. Show yourself out, please. But, but, it's all true! I did what you wanted! I earned that pet house! The only thing you've earned is a place on our watch list. Remember, we'll be keeping our eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the world is back to normal. Whoop retrieved Bozette at the space station, and now Mandy's scheme has been thwarted. Spies one, bad guy zero. I just have one last request, Jer. What's that? When you erase Mandy's memory, can you please leave her clown makeup on? Just for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> This early in the morning? What have you done with my Alex? I'm not studying, Clover. I'm just checking out my horoscope. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. I can't believe you're wasting your time on astrology when you should be focused on astronomy. As in that astronomy test. I'm not worried. Things will work out in the end. How do you know? Says so right here in my horoscope. Things will work out in the end. <gasps> hmm? Don't tell me you believe in astrology. That's no reason not to study. Yeah. There are way better reasons not to study, like all the boys in desperate need of scoping. Uh -huh. ah! Horoscopes can be totally accurate. Clover, yours says, a handsome stranger's smile will brighten your day. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh. See? Sorry, that horoscope was way off. Yeah, he smiled, but he wasn't handsome. He was a total hottie. Let's check out yours, Sam. Your mood will be ruined by an irritating presence. Hey, Sam, might want to get your nose out of the books and into a mirror. That outfit is so last week. <laughs> she has a point, Sam. Do you really think horoscopes are real? No, that outfit is a little dated. Oh. Speaking of dates, we have to get to history class. Is right again. It said a strange event will bring me and my BFFs close together. This must be it. <laughs> ah, hello, ladies. Sounds like a spot of trouble. There is a strange event going on. I know all about it, Jer. My horoscope already told me. Did it tell you there is something very odd happening on the beaches of the world? Oahu, Bora Bora, and Long Beach in South Africa. Your mission is to head to these beaches. Hmm? Ready? Hmm. Yes, I see that. But this is no beach vacation, Clover. You'll need to investigate the bizarre tide patterns at each beach. The alignment of the moon and the sun and the earth may have something to do with it. Hmm? You're into astrology too? What's your sign? Scorpio, Gemini? Focus. Your sign is focus? I was referring to the moon's effect on tides. When the sun and moon are aligned, there can be strong gravitational forces causing powerful spring tides, but not nearly this powerful. Oh. Here are your gadgets. A diamond swim ring, a jewel-encrusted turbocharged flotation device, a pair of groovy gravity boots, weighted boots that can help you defy gravity, a lunar lip booster, a mini rocket booster in the shape of a lipstick, 
And finally, 3D projector sunglasses that can project global images. Cool. Travel safe, spies. I know we're on a mission, but I'm still super psyched to hit the sea. Well, we're about to, in a big way. Brace yourselves! Our mark? Oh, nope. We're right in the middle of the ocean. And over there is the bay. A waterless ocean? This makes no sense. Dudettes, I was stoked for Dawn Patrol. Totally amped for this epic set, ready to fully mack a double overhead corduroy to the horizon. Now it's all Shirley. Hey, I dig your suits. That makes no sense either. You're gonna translate that surf speak? <laughs> Fortunately, I speak surf. Check it. This surfer dude was about to catch a giant wave when the water got rough and then disappeared. Dude! Dude! Me and my salty sisters are gonna scope the jacked waves. Slater! Yeah, man. Ciao! Hmm. Impressive. Huh? <gasps> so is this? A starfish looking for water? No. The new friend my horoscope said I'd meet. We are going to be BFFFs. Best fish friends forever! A girl hugging a starfish. You don't see that every day. Huh? Mm -hmm. You don't see that every day either. The moon just appeared out of nowhere. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Oops. Alex? Please tell us that was your stomach. Ah! <gasps> The tide's coming back in! Chillax! It's all gonna end fine. My horoscope said so. Did it also say <gasps> to run? <laughs> we can't outrun the water! So it's either sink or swim or float! Activate the diamond swim rings! Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah! <laughs> Watch out for the boys! What boys? <gasps> oh, those boys. <laughs> hey, look at all your fellow fishies flying by. Squid, jellyfish, octopi, shark. Shark? <laughs> 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 Some Zaw. Later, bra. If you're ever in Cali, say hi. We should probably go too. Over here! Worst beach trip ever. We barely got any clues, and I barely got a tan. Well, we do have one big clue. The moon appeared out of nowhere. But what does that have to do with the freaky tide patterns? Good question. Let's see if these 3D projector glasses can help with some answers. Mm, I can't see a thing. Oh, that's better. So the moon was definitely way far out of its orbit. And it was too close to Earth considering it was just the first quarter of the lunar phase. Wow. Someone snuck a peek at their astronomy textbook while they were sleeping. Oh, it wasn't me. I just read my horoscope. Does it say anything about a heat wave? Oh, it is suddenly mega hot in here. And out there. Ugh. Wow, hot enough for ya. Yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, it is. What can I say? I like boys in their summer fashions. <laughs> uh, but not all the boys. I don't see what everyone's whining about. I don't even feel the heat. Uh. Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Ladies, a 
As impossible as it sounds, the sun seems to be getting closer to the Earth. It's a global emergency. I'm picking you up at once. Okay, so any idea why the sun and the moon are getting closer to Earth? I'm guessing it might have something to do with a weird beam firing up from the Earth to the sky. Hmm? I see no evidence of this on my computer. Where are you getting your intel? From my own two eyes. Look! Wow! Best laser show ever! That laser's not for show. In theory, it's supposed to counter the effects of black holes using super powerful anti-gravity forces. This must be what's affecting the sun and the moon. And the stars! I see no evidence of that. Well, that's because you haven't seen my horoscope. That beam changed star patterns, which changed my horoscope. Mm -hmm. And not for the better. Mm -hmm. The end is near. <gasps> they didn't say the end of what? I mean, maybe it means the end of all this trouble. Or this hot weather. Or just some lame fashion fad like leg warmers. I've tracked the beam to San Francisco straight ahead. Buckle up, spies. <laughs> Guys, you need to jump out now if you're going to make it to San Francisco. We're not leaving you, Jerry! <laughs> What's that whirlpool doing in the middle of the ocean? Besides sucking us in, swim for your life! school space capsule. But instead of outer space, it's underwater. Whoever parked it here has a terrible sense of direction. Hello, lady. Ah! I just sucked you into my underwater lair. Serves you right for following me. Wasn't that whirlpool ride fun? <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let us out of here. I do think she's out of her mind. Wait, you thought we were following you? We don't even know you. So, you've never heard the name Cosmostratus? Just once, when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like everyone at the space agency, failing to see the genius in their midst, overlooking me for 15 space missions in a row. Hmm, kept failing the psychological tests, huh? Who told? You did, when you said, who told? <laughs> <laughs> Those tests were totally unfair. I didn't even get to study. Well, space school's out forever, because I have a plan. If they won't take me to outer space, I will bring outer space to Earth. What? I'm scared to ask, but how are you going to do this? By using a machine I've constructed called the Stratosphere Monger. With it, I am pulling the moon, the sun, and the stars closer and closer to Earth. <laughs> Out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> out of your mind, huh? Before you go, what's your sign? Because maybe today isn't the best day for you to end the world? I don't believe in astrology. Too weird.
deep breath and get ready to blast off. Oxygen empty. Three, two. to the phone right now. Literally. He's not answering. Okay, where's Cosmo? <laughs> That's one small step for me, one giant mess for mankind! <laughs> Time for some bird watching up close. Ah. Here, birdie birdie. Doing. You're supposed to be underwater. Yeah, we came up for air. So, what do you think of what I've done to the place? Isn't it a kick? <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> but maybe we need to play a game. Tennis, anyone? <laughs> Shot is way over the line. <laughs> Slowest dive for cover ever. <sighs> All right, let's get her. These boots were made for stomping. Forget Cosmo. We need to focus on destroying the beam of light and restoring gravity before everything in the world starts to float off. The ray is coming from the top of the Golden Gate Bridge. But how are we supposed to get up there without becoming a human hot air balloon and floating off? I'll do it. The world needs us. Besides, my horoscope said everything will end well, and I believe it. You're not doing this alone. <laughs> hey, what about me? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll take care of you. <laughs> Too far. Too bad we're out of lunar lip booster, so we can't blast our way to the top in the capsule. What if we put our diamond swim rings around the capsule? It's worth a shot. I've had 
dreams like this. <laughs> She made it to space. Too bad she'll be coming back to Earth courtesy of Whoop Authorities. <laughs> Big announcement, besties. Hmm? I was way wrong to believe in my horoscope. Oh, so great to hear you say that, Alex. Yeah, me too. So what made you come to your senses? <laughs> I read my horoscope. My real horoscope. <gasps> turns out I was reading the wrong sign. I totally thought I was a Taurus, but turns out I was wrong. I'm a Pisces, which makes way more sense because I love sushi. Want to hear my new horoscope? Pass. Uh, no thanks. A cute boy will say hello. Hmm? Hello. Huh? Alex, you're right. He said hello. Cool. <laughs> oh, but it said that he was going to say hello to me. <sighs> so, goodbye to horoscopes for good. <laughs> 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 